Julie McNally, I feel afraid and worried about my health all the time. I don't want to feel this anymore. I love you, Crystal. You are amazing. Thank you very much. I understand that. First of all, so let me validate that for you. I understand that, and I've spoken about this before, but let me speak about this with you. I have a family curse. There was a family curse passed down from my, my great-grandmother to my grandmother to my mother and to me. And this was an unconscious curse. It was an energetic pattern spoken into being through language. The women of my line talking about it all the time and talking about it from a young age on my end so that I heard it all the time. And this message was, we die early. We don't live past 55, the women of, of my line. My mom talked about that all my life. My grandmother died at 52. My great-grandmother died at like 49. Her mother died like really early. My mother thought she would for sure die in her 50s. And so she didn't, by the way. <laughs> okay, she didn't. But nonetheless, as a woman speaks about herself, so she is. And our voice, our sound, is a conveyance of energy. It's moving it around. It's transmitting it somewhere. And as a child, keep in mind, from zero to six, we are literally, science will tell us, we are literally in a trance. We are just sponges, little baby sponges, just soaking it all up. Thank God if you come from a family where all you were soaking up was love and unicorns and stuff, but a lot of us came from really jacked up crazy families that were screaming and yelling and saying stuff like, the woman in my line die at 55. And so from a very young age, teenager, 20s, 30s, into my 40s, how dare you bring up my age? I thought, I thought we were friends. From a very young age, I always just thought, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die, and I'm gonna, it's probably going to be cancer. Because I had, a, I had a, somebody die of cancer when I was quite young. And it was gruesome, and it was a mind picture that I was always feeding and fearful of. And so I was giving life to it, sending consciousness to it. Something just touched me on my back. Okay, then. But I was always thinking of it, and it was like a curse. And so how did I get over it? Well, it still pops up from time to time. It still pops up, and I can, I can feel myself unconsciously boarding the fear train. All aboard! Here goes the fear about having cancer, and I'm off and going, and then I have to pull myself back and work within the mind. This is just programming of the mind. This is just something you have thought so many times that now it's turned into a belief. It doesn't make it real. It just means you've thought it a lot of times. And when we think something a lot of times, it carves a path into our thinking awareness and really our brain, we call these neural pathways. And you think to yourself, I'm unhealthy. I'm going to die early. The women of my line died before 55. And you think this over and over and over again. And now you have a pathway that your brain is always thinking. And as a man thinks about himself, so he is. And if we do nothing about this style of thinking and this way of being, then we manifest it. There is the danger. We do run the risk of manifesting it. So the work that I have and the work that you have, my friend, is to stop this thinking in its tracks. You cannot indulge these types of moods. You cannot indulge these trains of thinking. You cannot indulge these controlled reveries. Sometimes I find myself, strangely, oddly, I find myself running through stories in my head about getting sick. It's, it's so deep inside of me. And when I do that, I stop. I recognize that I'm doing that. I make a conscious effort to love the me who felt the need to think that, which is the me that was a little girl that heard my own mother say that because it was programmed into her. I stopped the whole thing. And I love myself for even thinking that in the first place. And then when there is an empty space, I'm no longer thinking the sickness thought, and I've loved myself, which is a high vibration energy, into that space of creation, I insert a new truth about myself. Because, of course, I am the intelligent designer of my life. 
And so if I fear sickness, what will I say? I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. I am strong and youthful and always look 10 years younger than my age. I learned that one from Marianne Williamson. I'm 50, doing pretty well. I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. I am strong and I am powerful and I always look 10 years younger than my age. And so it is. Now, sometimes we think a thought and we don't yet believe it, right? However, in the intentional thinking of it and the continual thinking of it, we create a new pathway. And that pathway is energetic. The pathway's in the brain. That pathway is magnetic. And soon it's got momentum, just like these weird kooky thoughts have momentum. They keep popping up. These new thoughts begin to have momentum. And if we work with the narratives of the mind while at the same time consciously remembering and aligning to the reality of who it is that we are, I am that I am is what I am. I am powerful. I exist outside of this dimension where sickness and poverty dwell. I exist outside of that. I am not constrained by that. I am not impacted in any way. And I, if I'm operating from there and I'm looping with these, I'm healthy, wealthy, and wise. I'm strong and powerful. And I always look 10 years younger than my age. So it is. Because my belief and my being are one. That's the key. It's work. It's work. Can you be delivered from faulty thinking in a moment? Yes. Rare. Rare. I tell all of my students, if you want to achieve whatever it is you're in my class for, talk to angels, have a business, become intuitive, you got to deal with your stuff. You have to deal with the narratives. You have to deal with the psychology of it all. Where does it come from? Does it come from your mama, your daddy who put it in you? Why? Where were you when that happened? Go back, get her. Tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Do it in your mind's eye. You can time travel there. You're magical and powerful. And so it is.